Today, I'm going to visit every abandoned fast food place I can find. I'll be visiting everything from Burger King to Arby's and even McDonald's, as well as a bunch of other places. You guys loved when I looked at a closed Toys R Us, so because of that, I wanted to visit even more abandoned places. And first up, we're starting with Taco Bell. This location, when it was open, had fairly decent reviews, considering it's a fast food place. And overall, it looked pretty good on the inside from pictures that I've seen online. Most people seem to like this Taco Bell location. Judging from Google Maps, this closed around 2020. So it's been about three years now. So you got the building right there, and then in the front, you have the sign, at least what used to be the sign. On the back of the building, there's a bunch of spray paint and stuff, and you can see a bunch of stuff over there just falling apart. So the drive-through would have been over there, and then this is just the front of the building. You can see up there where the logo used to be. And then I'll just film inside real quick. Not really much happening. Anything that was in there was taken out. That's pretty much all there is to say about this Taco Bell. It's abandoned, it's falling apart and there really isn't much left to see inside also i might as well throw this in there the old taco bell over there is actually right next to a blue roof burger king and speaking of that burger king i actually went here back in march when i filmed me going to old burger kings and i saw this taco bell right next to it so i wanted to film a joke to have it in that video but i ended up deleting it because it was so unfunny hello this taco bell open <laughs> yeah you can see why i cut that joke <laughs> Next up, we got an old Burger King that just recently shut down and was currently being remodeled as I was filming. I guess they're finally going to demolish it and either just get rid of it completely or rebuild it and put a brand new Burger King here. You can see they're already starting to take everything out in preparation to demolish the building. Now, as for the reviews of this place, let's just say they are pretty bad. No one seemed to like this location at all. And as for the inside, it still had the early 90s design. It looks exactly like another Burger King I visited before. I would have made a video on this location, but it closed down before I could do that. And based off of the reviews on this place, I'm not surprised that they shut it down. Now with this particular spot, I actually have a picture of me in front of it because I wanted to save it for later when I did a video going to old Burger King locations, but I ended up closing it. Also, the sun is right in my face. And then as for the inside, it's completely gutted out. There's basically nothing left. I didn't want to film too much though because there's people trying to work in there and I don't want to be just annoying and film them. But I got a little bit and you can see that there's nothing left you can see the dump full of stuff you even have a toilet right there so this was pretty interesting one of the people working inside the building just came out and talked to me for a second or whatever probably thinking that i'm like a weirdo just filming the building but he said apparently they're not getting rid of the building completely they're just gutting the inside and doing some remodels so it probably will just become a new burger king entirely now we move on to the next location that is an almost unrecognizable kfc so that last place might be getting a remodel but this is definitely not this kfc closed down so long ago now that there is no reviews on google or even yelp also the only photo that i can find other than google maps is this one picture of the sign this place is almost not documented at all and nowadays the building is looking terrible at first i couldn't even tell what this place was i always thought it was an old taco bell or an a and w but eventually i went on google maps went back in time and saw that it's actually an old kfc i definitely did not expect that this place has been closed for at least over 15 years years now and it definitely looks like it you can see everything is boarded up there's spray paint it doesn't resemble a kfc at all the only indication that you can see is on the sign obviously the logo isn't there anymore but underneath it you can see it says drive through and it's in the kfc font over in the front this was probably the entrance sign but it's all painted over so you can't see anything on it and then on this side it's more or less just the same stuff there's a bunch of spray paint and it just doesn't look good at all you can see the lights in here for the parking lot are basically almost covered over with all all the trees that have grown over the years there's one over there too and then over in the back you can see where the old menu was so this is obviously where you would drive through to order the menus are gone but the sign is still there and then you just come around to this side and you have where the drive through would be and as for the inside you can't see anything everything's boarded up there is no way to tell what's on the inside now we have the next location where you won't even need that much photos because the outside and inside of this building are almost completely intact still and that location would be arby's i've seen this one for a while i've always wanted to get it on video in some way but i couldn't figure out how until now this location had the typical review score you would expect from a place like this and the inside looked like any other arby's you've seen but what makes this unique is after four years now when this place closed everything inside still remains the same it looks like it was just closed yesterday so up on the top there you can clearly see that this was an arby's i actually did an entire video going to an old arby's we went to a building that was old in itself and then another location where they had the original sign 
sign. This one was just a regular Arby's and it closed down. There's really nothing too special about this location other than it's abandoned. So in the front, you basically just have a window. It says Arby's right there. And then this would be where the sign was. It was just one of the regular small ones. Out on the front here, this would have been the entrance sign. And then you would go around there to the drive-thru in the back. In the dump, there's basically nothing. It's just a couch. And then walking around here, you have this little thing. It was probably just showing you the big item of the day or whatever. But this would be where you would order right here. It's crazy how much intact this one is. Every other place, it's just been destroyed. So it says it right there. Please order here. And then behind that, you have the main menu screen. That piece fell off, but everything else is still on there. Let's take a look inside real quick and see what's going on. Wow, that is actually crazy. Almost everything is still intact. This place almost looks like it's ready to open. Now, before we move on to the last location, this McDonald's actually has an interesting history that I wanted to share. I was just using the feature on Google Maps where you can go back in time, and I saw that this McDonald's actually used to have a train in front of it. I guess it was somewhere around here, and it was called the Mick Railroad or something, but there is almost no evidence of it being there now. That would have been interesting to see because it's just like, what is that? I've never seen another McDonald's with a train in front of it. When McDonald's remodels their locations, they always take the fun right out of it. But now we have the final location, and that would be McDonald's. This McDonald's was definitely unique with the decorations they had inside, but the only images I could find was from this person on Pinterest, and they were taken back in 2010, and I couldn't find any reviews for this location. Now, I actually did a pretty in-depth look at this place in another video where I went to the weirdest McDonald's locations, but that was just the weirdest locations. Now we're looking at abandoned ones, and I had to come back to it. This McDonald's was actually a 50s-style McDonald's, meaning the inside looked like it was from the 50s. I guess it was a unique thing McDonald's was trying out, but it ended up not working, and now they all look the same with the boring gray-white color scheme. I miss when McDonald's actually did different buildings and made a couple of them unique, which is why I did that video going to the weirdest locations. But because of how different it looks, you may not even believe this is a McDonald's, but there's three ways to tell that it was. The first is simply just going on Google Maps, and then you can go back in time and see that it was a McDonald's with the red roof. The next two ways you can tell are actual physical things with the building. The first one is right here on the ground where you can see the old paint. The McDonald's logo is right there at the top, and then it says drive through at the bottom there. Now, as for the inside, I already filmed it, but it looks like it actually got a lot worse. So much more stuff is destroyed. It just looks so different. I'm not sure if that was how McDonald's had it looked or when this other place took it over, which I'm not really going to go into detail, but at some point, another place called Good To Go took over this building. It was open for a couple years and then it closed down. Also, that was not broken the last time I was here. So it looks like someone got in there. I'm not going to be doing that. But with that happening, I can see them boarding this up and making it closed off to the public. Over on the other side here, this is where the drive through would be. And it's just completely overgrown at this point. And then right here would be the drive through where you would order the food. There's actually a picture of a statue out here. That thing is long gone. And then as you walk over here, you have the drive through where you would get the food. And then if you look in the drive through window, there's really not much to see at all. However, I did say there was three ways to tell this was a McDonald's. And the last one would be this logo right here. On the building itself, you can see the outline of the logo where it obviously was McDonald's. So that's all I got to say about this abandoned McDonald's. But there's one last thing I want to throw in before I leave. Right across the street from the McDonald's was an old Blockbuster. So if you take a look in, you can see that it looks nothing like a Blockbuster. But besides from looking at the building itself, this is the best way you can see it was one at one point. This exit sign may just seem like a normal thing that's there. But if you look right under at the copyright, you can see it says 2003 Blockbuster Inc. So that's it for the video. Make sure to subscribe. And I am now selling merch. Click the link in the description to get yours today.